This is the real life of James CD. And I happen to be the real James CD. Well, hi there. Long time no see. So if you're looking for Brief News Brief, as I have mentioned before, we've moved that to OUTV. The channel name on YouTube is OU Television. So all Brief News Briefs can go there. I'm going to kind of change the way that the real James Heaney YouTube works. I'm going to probably add some games on there, which I'm trying to figure out what is the right way to do that. Because I'm going to be putting up, and I've been putting up content on Gamefront. It's going well, and I'm enjoying it a lot. A lot of times I'm streaming on Twitch on my channel, and then with this thing called Mob Crush, simultaneously streaming on YouTube on Gamefront. So that's been fun. Uh, trying to give some jolts back into game from starting back up. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be more of like vlogs and more personal stuff. And I'm gonna keep the brief news brief stuff separate into the OUTV thing, which honestly, my dream is to get OUTV to have written sketch comedy and, and really curated stuff. And this will be a little bit more like personal type things. So that being said, what's going on personal? I mean, there's a lot going on personal, but the first thing I would say is uh, the whole game front thing has been a lot of fun working and making not working for them it's a much different situation but collaborating with the people running Gamefront I got a copy of a new game called Meeple Station and it just came out on the 17th but I got an early access to it which was fun it's been a while since I'd gotten an early access to the game that always used to make me feel pretty special when I'd get like the developer sending me early copies of things being like don't release anything until like don't let anybody know this is secrets and like ooh, ooh, I get secrets which is pretty neat I played like eight hours of this game Meeple Station it's a space sim they say it's something like Dwarf Tower or was it Dwarf Fortress? That's what it is. I've played Dwarf Tower and Dwarf Fortress. For Dwarf Fortress is a simulation game, but it's really difficult. Like, it's really difficult to play that game. Uh, I struggled. I think I might have played it for like two hours and then gave up because I couldn't figure it out. The other game they uh, compare it to is RimWorld, which I haven't played, but I looked at the videos and pictures, and it does look very similar to Maple Station. The difference is between Dwarf Fortress, RimWorld, and Meeple Station is this is a space station simulator. You're building a space station and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's addictive. And it's I, I always have one of those addictive personalities to games that are, to all different, I guess just video games in general. But Sims, like you can lose hours and hours playing The Sims and just be like, what the hell have I done with my time? So Maple Station, uh, the first many times I was trying to build it, because um, you before you get like, I don't know if it's like $3,600, but it's not dollars, it's whatever Maple Station money is. But you get 3600 of whatever to build a space station. you got to build the, the hull. You've got to make sure there's life support in there. There's power to power the life support. You need food. Uh, the food doesn't seem to need power, but you also need... Um, solar panels to collect the power to put in your power source to power those things you need beds for people if they're going to maybe be miserable you need uh, an airlock at least one airlock preferably two one airlock for people to just go out of to do mining or fixing of the hull and one airlock to use for trade and when the spaceships come in so the problem was, is the first many times I would build it, I would load it up and I would forget one thing like, oh, there's no power to it. So the air support's not going to work. So, and for some reason, my own fault for not making a save. I don't even know if you can save it, but it would be smart to make a save before you launch the spaceship. Because once you launch the spaceship, it's filled with four meeples that will die. So it's trial and error of getting it ready. One thing I also learned is don't have an airlock door without a hull door to block it because it sucks all of the air out of the room. And if that room is connected to where people are at, asphyxiation and they're dead. So I've been grinding that game quite a bit. I'm probably going to stream a little bit more of it today, which is at the sacrifice of me playing Resident Evil 7, which I was gifted. Um, and it is such a fun game. I've been playing it with VR. And the VR isn't actually Resident Evil 7 VR. What it is, is I'm playing inside of VR 
looking at a screen that I've built inside the VR world that's like tilted around me. So it's like fake VR when you look around. Um, but the cool thing is, the game changer for streaming for me is, inside of that, I can then look to the side and I have a chat box up. Because I've only got one TV and it's just impossible. My place is so small. I couldn't get a second TV next to my TV. And so what I usually do is I've got like a Kindle propped up on something to look at. But to be able to play Resident Evil, look to the side and be like, oh, here's the chat. It's so awesome. So, but I'm also trying to make these Meeple Station things. The, the cool thing about Meeple Station that, oh, batteries, oh, oh. Oh, it's still going. It says battery's dead, so i got to wrap it up. I'm going to do another one of these. I'll tell you more about Maple Station and all the exciting stuff, but i got to go. See you later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, right?